when that first episode of Hell of the Boss came mm. out, were you overwhelmed by the response? Mm. Or did it take a while? For so it to what be- happened was I, I shared the animatic with a friend of mine. What's an animatic? That's like a halfway done animation. Or it's like it's like an animation, not even halfway done. Well, I shouldn't... It was... Like the sketch? Yeah, it's like a really just bare bones, janky... Uh, there's like storyboard and there's like an animatic right above. You know, it's like, it's like just above that. And um, I shared that with a friend of mine and I said, is this good? Because I'd spent the last month writing it, voice acting it, and then, or less, yeah, then another month went by and then, you know, we, we saw an animatic of it. So I was like, is this any, is this any good? And my friend was like, holy shit, you got to be on this show. Oh my God. And my friend was a big animation lover and I admittedly wasn't huge in animation beforehand. So I, I didn't know if this was, but he said, you know, and, and then, uh, and then has been hotel, the pilot came out and, that blew up. And so Hell of a was scheduled to come out just a little bit after that pilot. And when Has Been blew up, that that's when I was like, holy shit, Hell of a is going to be big too. Because it's going on the same channel. And so that was when I was not, I wasn't overwhelmed because we were all, now that we knew that this. There was viv- an audience. There was an audience for it. We were expecting a big splash at that point. But the overwhelmed part was when Has Been's success happened. Because that's when we realized, shit. The audience is here. They're lined up. They're subscribed. They're ready for this pilot. I think what was overwhelming was was feeling because the devotion from these fans. Because these fans are not typical fans. These are fans that memorize everything from it, and they have all the merch, and they do they make this incredible fan art, both in you know visual and in audio. They create songs inspired by the show, based on the show, covers of the show's songs, um, and to see people in just art this way it was it was really cool to be a part of the other end of that because i've never seen i mean i've had devoted fans before but seeing animation fans are specifically different like it's kind of cool because they're like obsessed with your art in a sense in the way that like it's really detached from you because yes. it's not your face well see and, and i i to that point i was going to a lot of conventions like like vidcon and playlist live and that's those are conventions where people are excited to see you because you're famous there's very little separation between you and what you do and at the conventions i'm going to now like these are these are much more tailored to people who like video games and animation this is where people like the work. They are here because of what I've done, not because of me or who I am, but because of what I put effort into. And that is so much more gratifying to me. You know, pe- people, I mean, at VidCon, I'd have people lining up to take pictures with me who didn't even know who I was. They were just, oh, you're famous, so I got to get a picture with every famous person here. And, you know, cut to these conventions, and they're like, I loved in this episode the choice you made when Blitz did this, or you know, or or what, what do you think is going to happen between these characters? I mean, I could just they're, you get to be a part of them digesting the art, and that's really cool because that's why I'm there. I'm not there to for them to meet me. I'm there to talk about the stuff that we've done that year. At Peacock, I got that role because of my friend, you know, Georgie. Yeah, yeah, you know, she was a producer on that movie. Oh, uh. and so that's that's how I got that role. And then Has Been and Hell of a, I got that because Vivian. Yeah. And so it's like. I got forced into Peacock and Amazon. Like I'm starting to force my way into Hollywood, but because of my friends, right? You know, and I I do want one day for Hollywood to not be afraid to be like, you know what? I don't need a reference. I'll just pluck Brandon on my by myself. 